What's going on YouTube? It's Herpaderpalooza and I'm looking to do a reaction video to Tom McDonald's uh, church. Um, used to rep Tom McDonald pretty hard uh, but then I really started getting into reaction videos and so I like stopped listening to his songs only because I want to do reaction videos. Yeah, we're here with my cat. This is Zelda. This is fun. Um, but yeah, I wanted to like actually have true reactions. I did two separate reactions to Tom McDonald already and realized that I had no audio coming through at all. So in the interest of keeping it legitimate, I'm not reacting to those songs. Um, so yeah, we're here. We're going to do church. Do me a favor, do the whole like, subscribe, the bell thing. There's stuff all over. I'm sure you know how it goes probably better than I do. Anyway, let's hop to it. I need a short drink or a long prayer. I've been sober, but I don't care. I'm so scared of my own self. I get no help, and that's no fair. So don't go there. I've been hell and back. I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap. I got empty bottles and a million bottles. I regret swallowing the Ativan. Let's be real. I resent the way that I feel. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk and I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. And I said my prayers when I got clean. Sometimes. It just got worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. The don't work, it hurts. Yeah, I uh, I know where that I know where that hits the feels, man. Sometimes, I mean, you're just looking for answers and a lot of times the harder you look, the harder they are to find. To save me, but he didn't hear my words. The don't work, it hurts. I went to church, now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass, I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Go to hell and back again, then show you burns to prove I earned it. I need shots of God to gain the strength I need. I'm just a person. I I pray on the way to the liquor store that they lock the door. That's that's pretty heavy. That's honestly really heavy. Like, oh, cat. Oh, you're gonna go in the moment. Yeah, like, that whole feeling of, um, sometimes, I mean, it just feels like you're talking to no one. I mean, uh, but at the same time, I mean, it can be therapeutic even if you're just praying just in case if someone's out there, you know? It can help. Also, real quick, um, there's a lot of people out there that that do want to help, and they aren't mind readers, you know. So that's a thing. Might not hurt to, you know, voice that every once in a while. Dude, I feel like negative stuff in your life is just sitting there waiting for you to trip up, waiting for just that that split second where you just don't have the strength and it it gets you. I get lost in the dark, drowning the whiskey, and I went in so far he's oh, whiskey, whiskey fella. I'm on a ship in a bottle, sink by at the shore. Break the glassy you find me. I'm not who I was before. Close my eyes in the darkness and hope. Racking a bottle. Bright lights, whiskey glasses, bottles of booze. Make sure it days to long nights. The bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. So just out of curiosity, um, I know it's more for lyrical content in all likelihood, but the bottle and the Bible, I mean, can't you have both? I feel like maybe, I mean, but addiction, I mean, is like a whole different story. And that's what this is getting towards. And But still, I mean, 
I don't think the message of this is you can't drink if you read the Bible. I think it's just more like the whole thing with you can't put anything before God. And if you're putting the bottle before God, you know, it's something along those lines is what it's seeming like. The battling addiction. I mean, that, that one right there, I pray that they lock the door on my way to the liquor store. Like, that's... I mean, obviously battling some heavy addiction. Every day is worse, yeah. And I get that too. Like, when you're battling something like that, um, every day feeling worse, it's like, it, it's just piling up, so... You got this day messed up, this day messed up, this day messed up, this day messed up. And every one of those days carries the weight of the day before. And it, that gets overwhelming, man. I can't breathe, but the Bible's still with me. My eyes can't see from the bottles of whiskey. And that's a tough spot to be in. That really, that's, that's tough. And I, I feel like he's been there. Like, I feel like I hear that in his voice is being portrayed pretty well. Like, that's tough, Tom McDonald. You would be missed. But you know, like similar, um, or similarly, uh, any addiction, I mean, it could be like, I've heard caffeine is actually like a real one or quitting smoking cigarettes or anything like that. It gets tough. I mean, that's tough stuff. Uh, that takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of mental fortitude to pull through that or, uh, Especially if you're trying to pull through it alone, which is kind of what I'm sort of getting. I mean, not only God, but it just it seems like he's kind of portraying he's just completely alone uh, feeling, which uh, hopefully he has loved ones around him. But even with that, it's pretty easy to feel 100% alone when you're trying to fight that. Um, it can be embarrassing. Like you, like, you just don't even want to talk about it uh, just because you're just sheerly embarrassed. But don't be. There's there's people out there that want to help. Yeah. Trying to fill like a hole. Oh, that was the end of the video. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's some heavy stuff. Um. And unfortunately, when you got a whiskey-shaped hole, I don't think for a lot of people, whether church is the right or wrong answer, that's up, up to the individual to decide. But um, whatever the positive reinforcement you're trying to seek is, it is a much different shape than the hole you're trying to fill. And uh, that, that could be a rough transition. It really can. That's totally the end. Yeah, that's totally the end. Anyway, um, yeah, that's some heavy, heavy stuff. And I'm glad to see Tom McDonald still out here producing stuff. And show him some love. I'm going to put the, um, I should have mentioned it at the beginning of the video probably, but the link to the original video will be in the description. Uh, I'm trying to shoot all of my reaction videos without a single cut, just straight, full-blown, uh, like I said, there's been like two songs so far that I, I went to react to and uh, had some some audio visual 
difficulties that that became an issue so those are just docked they're just not gonna ever come out so yeah anyway if you liked it do the subscribe and the bell and the like and whatever uh i also stream on twitch uh same as my username on here interpreter balooza uh got that tiktok that instagram i mean chances are if it's on a platform and you're trying to follow me just search interpreter balooza and i'm most likely already there and if I'm not, please don't steal my name unless you plan on letting me have it. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was fun. And stay tuned for more. Again, this literally isn't cut. I'm not even shaving this off.